Welcome to episode seven of the AI Practitioner Exam Bytes. Let's start by looking at the review question from the last episode as usual, asking us to identify the most appropriate learning approach and ML technique for this task. The correct answer is C, supervised learning with classification. As supervised learning is appropriate, as we have a data set of posts with known topic labels, and classification is the correct technique for categorizing data into predefined classes or topics. The others are incorrect as unsupervised learning doesn't use label data and clustering discovers groups in data without predefined categories, which isn't the goal here. And regression is for predicting continuous numerical values, so not for categorization into topics. So let's move on. Today, we're gonna to cover the exam objective, identify examples of real world AI applications. For example, computer vision, natural language processing, speech recognition, recommendation systems, fraud detection, and forecasting. Now, as you're probably aware, because you are watching this series and wanna do your AI practitioner exam, AI is all around us, powering many of the technologies we use daily. So let's break down some of these examples. Computer vision, this is the AI that can see and interpret visual information. Have you seen on your smartphone that in the Photos app, it can identify faces and show you all the photos with a particular person? Or perhaps the ability of your car to identify road signs and obstacles. That's all computer vision. Natural language processing or NLP. This enables machines to understand, interpret, and generate human language. It's the magic behind chatbots, voice assistants like Alexa, and language translation services. Speech recognition. Now this is closely related to natural language processing. This technology converts spoken words into text. It's used in voice to text applications, voice commands, and transcription services. Ah, recommendation systems. Have you ever wondered how Netflix suggests the shows that you might like? Like I go and I go look at my sort of recommended for you and it's like, yeah, that's actually stuff that I would like. Or maybe you go onto amazon.com and it shows you other products you might be interested in buying. I mean, that's AI in action. These systems analyze your behavior and preferences to recommend products, content, or services. Fraud detection, something that we discussed a little bit already in this video series. AI helps financial institutions spot suspicious activities by analyzing patterns in transactions. It's a crucial tool in cybersecurity and financial crime protection. Like when an unusual transaction is detected on your credit card and you get a text message or a phone call from the bank asking you to confirm whether the transaction is legitimate or not. Forecasting. Artificial intelligence excels at predicting future trends based on historical data. This is used in weather forecasting, stock market predictions, demand forecasting in retail, to give a few examples. So let's now move into our review question for this module. A company wants to implement an AI system that can automatically categorize and respond to customer emails based on their content. Which type of AI application is most suitable for this task? A, fraud detection, B, computer vision, C, speech recognition, or D, natural language processing or NLP? I'll see you in the next episode where we'll answer that question and we're also gonna finish off this section of work by looking at some of AWS's artificial intelligence and machine learning services. Ooh, that sounds exciting. I'll see you in the next video.